По правде сказать не пойму, зачем мы храним весь этот хлам. Ты что ведь, это тот самый. Мы обожали запускать его с мамой и папой. То время давно в прошлом. Чудеса, да и только. Я запустил змея, а тот зацепился за няню. Мэри? Поппинс. Everybody who ever worked with you apparently is so in love with you as a director that it's impossible to hear so anything. It's so overwhelming. Else. How do you cast uh, something like that? Something so iconic and at the same time fresh? Well, it started with Mary Poppins, you know. Who's going to play that role? And the interesting thing is that it was actually the easiest decision of all because I knew Emily having worked with her on Into the Woods and I knew she had all the range that this character has, you know, she needs to be so many things. I mean, the, the requirements are huge, but I saw in her a great actress who could play layers. It's a very sophisticated performance what she does because there's so much to it. It's not just the brusque sort of stern facade. Underneath, you see those glimpses of warmth and her heart and her humor. She's so funny, Emily. And I knew she'd bring that to it, but also she can sing and she can dance and she is British and she has all those qualities. And I, I honestly thought to myself, she's the only person that could play this role. Honestly, I couldn't think of anybody else. And I knew that she would find her own way It's almost an impossible task, but she, but she accomplished it for me, you know. And I, I'm so proud of what she's done in this film. Вы ли это не постарели ничуть? Извини, обсуждать возраст дамы неприлично, Майкл. Что за неучтивость? I was quite fearful at first, um, and then I think I just decided to approach her as I would any other part. I was going to read this incredible script talk to my incredible director and all the sort of she's so iconic and Julie Andrews oh, I had to let it become like white noise it had to be like background chatter because at the end of the day more than anything I was so excited to play her I was so thrilled to play her I think the fear sort of gradually diluted into just a sort of like excitement you know And that's how I approach her. I approached her as I would any other part. I'd seen the original as a child, but I didn't watch it directly before playing her. And I think that was helpful to me. I didn't ever want to do a sort of impersonation of what the amazing Julie Andrews did. I wanted to do my version of her. So I just dove into the books, really. The books were a huge source for me. The duality of the character of Mary Poppins is what you actually touched on yes. right now. Yes. Uh, she's a very multifaceted character. Yes. Can you tell me more about creating and what specific instructions did you give her for that? It is a multifaceted character. And so what we did was we went directly to the books together, Emily and I. We really looked at who she was. It's a kind of a, she's actually quite stern and quite tough in the books and, and, and tough with the kids. But she's also, she also has a, um, she's kind of batty and eccentric and odd and vain. You know, so all of that was really rich to work from. And because you can't touch what Julie did, it was so perfect. Julie Andrews, her work is so astonishing. She won the Oscar, I mean, she's so amazing. So is you have to actually go to the character itself. And that was helpful. And then finding our own story taking place in the 30s and sort of our very emotional story, that actually helped too. It was sort of like a whole new world and a whole new storyline for us to place Mary into. And, and I think that also helped a lot with discovering this, you know, the, her version of Mary Poppins. Столько лет прошло, вы к нам по делам? Тем же, что и в прошлый раз. Возьму на себя заботу о Бэнксах. О нас? Да, о вас тоже. She's such an enigmatic character. In some ways, she's really unknowable. She doesn't reveal her inner workings to anybody. She is magical, and yet she's grounded. She's fastidious, and yet she's really eccentric. And so there's just so many amazing sort of dueling qualities to her. And so for me, and certainly for Rob Marshall, we would talk a long time about where do we find the human moments? Where do we find, you know, showing those private moments where she's so excited by these fantasias that she's going to take them on. Where, where's her inner child, you know? Я скучаю по маме. Все, что потерялось, к нам придет. 
How was it for you to actually make a transition from stage to a movie musical? It was exactly what I needed. It, um, honestly, I had finished my year playing Hamilton, and that was one of the most incredible experiences of my life. But when Rob offered me this opportunity, I, I jumped at it. The, the chance to move to London with my family, have a new experience. The big difference between performing musicals on film and on stage is you just have to wait longer for the applause. <laughs> but the adrenaline that comes from making a film like this and knowing Every day is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Today, we're gonna climb Big Ben. Tomorrow, we're gonna dance with penguins. The next day, we're gonna go sing with Meryl Streep. Um, and the adrenaline comes from, we're never gonna be here again, and so let's treasure it and sink our teeth into it. For you, this movie is the first, because it's the first movie when you're singing. Mm. Can you tell us about this experience? It was fun, actually. Like, it was fun because Rob Marshall just instills a kind of confidence in you because once he's asked you to do the job he kind of just drowns you in his love and attention and praise and so you feel you feel sort of like you can do anything with him so I feel very grateful to him for that because otherwise I might have been slightly more uh, <laughs> anxious and kind of uh, freaking out about it all because it's not my I don't know I don't never done a musical before Продолжаете забивать детям головы всякой чепухой? Уже не вспомнить, каково это быть ребенком. If you had the choice between the Mary Poppins world and the real world, what would you choose and why? Mary Poppins world? Because it's so joyful and hopeful. But I think that really what P.L. Travers was trying to tell the world and certainly what Mary Poppins is trying to tell the world is you need to blend the two and you can blend the two it's not one or the other but you've got to infuse your everyday life with magic and hope and optimism and a sort of childlike wonder that's really what she's coming back to the Banks family to teach them I choose to be in a sort of non-stop dance routine <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> with Mary Poppins and all those and animals. Yeah, animals and handsome men on bicycles. And... <laughs> Wouldn't it? I don't know. Maybe it would get would it get sort of exhausting. Maybe it would get irritating. It might get irritating <laughs> after a while. But you need a bit of both. Probably. You need a bit of both. I think you do. Yeah, I think I'd need a bit of both. Yeah the world that combines reality and also fantasy, that you see your life through the eyes of wonder. And that's something I try and do in my life, honestly. That's why this is the most personal film I've ever done. It really has um, deeply what I feel about life and how to, how, how to live. What's next?